Hey, this is Florian. In today's video, we want to talk about a very common problem on topspin ground strokes that I see all the time when I teach clinics or when people send me a video to review via the internet. And that is what I call over rotation. Now, rotation is important on our topspin ground strokes, of course. We need to coil the upper body and then uncoil. But most players that uh, I see tend to over rotate because they overestimate the importance of rotation and they try to throw that shoulder around and that causes you to lose power and to frame a lot of shots. Now in today's video, I'm going to show you a case study here from my student Mark who attended a two day clinic in New Jersey recently and he struggled with over rotation on his two handed backhand and then we did a couple drills to fix that. So let's take a look at Mark's two handed backhand right now. So here we see Mark hitting some backhands at the beginning of the clinic before we worked on it. Now he was hitting some shots well, but overall he was very inconsistent. He framed a lot of balls. He would hit a good one every now and then because his overall swing pattern was certainly good on that backhand. But overall it just was not the result that he was looking for. The big problem here was what I call over rotation. Mark was throwing that left shoulder around too much and also the back foot was coming around too much and this resulted in that inconsistency and often framing shots. Let me show you what I mean exactly with over rotation. On the left you'll see me over rotate and on the right you'll see me use just the right amount of upper body rotation. Look how the left shoulder is coming around a little too much on the left and also the head has turned which often causes the shoulder to come around and the upper body to over rotate. Here on the right you see the proper contact position for the two-handed backhand. This is the position you'll see top players like Djokovic and Andy Murray in as well. On the left we'll see that my left shoulder keeps coming around even more and there's simply too much rotation whereas on the right I had the right amount of rotation. Now rotation is important and we need to rotate the upper body but most players that I see at my clinics or that send in videos over rotate. It is very rare that I see somebody that does not rotate enough. And this is true by the way for the forehand, one-handed backhand and two-handed backhand. Now let's look at how we fix this for Mark. The first thing was understanding the difference. So I showed him visually uh, what he was doing wrong on video during the clinic and then I showed him what it should look like. Then we did a drill where he had to hold the finish position and in the finish position he can check whether or not he over rotated. We also had him focus on not bringing that left leg around uh, too early. So instead I had him drag up that left foot. You'll see that here in a second which is what pro players will do on a lot of shots. Now if we're moving into the corner then we have to release that foot often but we were working on fundamentals here. So the drill is to hold the finish position and not to come around with that left leg. So here's Mark hitting just a little bit later backhands down the line and as you can see he is holding that finish position that back leg is not coming around and he's just not rotating as much and he's hitting the ball much more consistent much cleaner here now of course every now and then like this one he's still over rotated and that's just part of the process and again I'm not saying rotation is not important rotation is important and uh, you can of course also on many shots uh, let go of that back leg and it can come around it just cannot come around too early and you don't intentionally do that because over rotation is such a common problem in all topspin ground strokes and because I want to make sure you get a lot out of this video let me show you over rotation here on the forehand as well on the right side you can see that right shoulder is in front of the left shoulder at contact there's simply too much rotation you also often see that when the head turns like that and that contact position on the left is much better and that's what you see with the pros as well here is that over rotation problem on the one handed backhand again on the right this time I'm over rotating and on the, on the left I'm rotating just the right amount and the contact position here is very different once again this is something that I see very very often in the clinics that people come and over rotate on all three of these shots the one hander the two hander and the forehand 
In order for you to fix this or get rid of this problem, I would recommend that you hold your finish position and then see where you're at and compare that to what you see here in the videos. Another alternative is, of course, to film yourself and then take a close look at what your body positions are at contact, for example. As I previously mentioned, Mark achieved this improvement in an OTI clinic. And for those of you that are interested in possibly attending one of these clinics in the future and are uncertain about what kind of improvements you can achieve in a clinic, let's hear what Mark had to say to me shortly after the clinic in an email. Mark says, since the clinic, my game has been at a different level. My friends don't understand how my strokes have changed so dramatically over a week and I haven't told them yet. I would recommend OTI's clinic to anyone serious about improving. When I think of all the money I've spent over the years without any results, compared to the money spent on this OTI clinic with dramatic results, the comparison is stark. This was the best investment I've made in years. So if you're interested in attending one of our clinics in the future, please let us know below this video. You can enter your email and let us know which location you're most interested in. Now in the past, these clinics have always sold out quickly. And if you enter your email, you'll get on a priority notification list so you'll find out first when we offer a new clinic and then you have a much better chance of getting into the clinic.